Yeah, what is up everyone? Brian with you from the game Cabinet. We're playing some more humankind. We are doing our hardest difficulty campaign, a redo of the hardest difficulty campaign, but this one's going a heck of a lot better than the last one. We're only one star away from getting to the medieval era. Looks like one of our opponents already got there and it looks like another one can get there at any point. But um, I was looking, we were actually, all we need to do is just attach one more territory and we can do it right now. Now, the thing is, I think I would, uh, I think we'd like to get the agrarian star again um what's our growth looking like so you're growing in 13 turns you're growing in three turns god two of our cities have too much food Oy. the other thing to keep in mind is we do want to go ahead and turn you into a city yeah i don't think i want to hit the next era until i get this into a city because we want to i think throw down the um cell unique building here just so we can get some food here otherwise the city might not grow that much because you know it's not as if there's a lot of good growth buildings here so we should probably bank a little bit of money as well just to kind of save it up for that um just so we can maybe buy a couple of those buildings um just so we can get a few of them built because you know we'll want like mm, probably at least two so crap there was our star oh that was the culture one yeah i think we got to hold on dude i think we got to hold on i mean if if for no other reason that we need to attach um we at least need to grab the star for that so there's no reason for us to go uh to the next level yet okay so i think we were just bringing you back here i don't really remember what the play was with you um i don't know we had a play i might just uh actually just put you on auto explore now because i don't really know what you're gonna do and then you know what you can also go on auto explore as well although we have an upgrade there um, actually, that would be to our unique unit, wouldn't it? Um, remind me later. Uh, correct? That's what you upgrade to? So you would upgrade to... No, a swordsman. So the Gestate, our unique unit, is... Is it a spearman or is it just... Melee, close combat, fervor. I guess we just have to build them. Hmm. I mean, there's no reason to build our unique unit because we're not, like actually gonna fight anyone anytime soon except for potentially these guys but you know i'm not really too worried about them um we'll move here just because i might want to end up in like ocean tiles next turn so we'll see where we go over here we're trying to explore trying to find some other continents i'm tempted remember we're in the north god it's so huge <laughs> that's what she said calm down yeah you know ah man do i want to go this way or do i want to come see if there's another ship over here I guess we go this way and what we need to do is build another ship jet point You're at 52 Throwing a harbor down over here would not be the worst thing in the world What kind of food are we looking at you get 20 food? Oh my god. Yeah, we'll throw a harbor there then <laughs> um, How much is the stoneworks one turn left? Uh, I said I was gonna bank some money So we'll finish that and that should actually give us a decent amount of production So I think we'll be able to finish the um harbor fairly quickly The other thing is we could potentially just rush out a boat here again It's only one turn And then send them around it's getting a little framey today. Hmm. I wonder if it's because I have chrome open in the background, but Eh, I suppose. Just give me, give me, give me a ship. Give me a ship. Yeah, I, 20 food, I definitely want to throw the harbor down. Although I'm wondering if maybe just f maxing our production first is maybe worth it. Um, yeah, if we're going to build a ship there, I think we might as well wait. All right, rhetoric is done. We're two techs away from the next tech star, right? So the thing is, the more stars you get, I don't know if I've explained this or shown this before, but the more stars you get in something, the more fame reward you get. So ideally, you get, you know, three stars in everything, every um, era, and you get some pretty crazy stats. Also, whatever your um, affinity is, you get more stars for doing that. So we're agrarian, so we very much would like to get to um 86 pop here because that would give us a nice little huge boost here when it comes to um the affinity there maybe maybe i changed my mind here i think we do knock out the harbor because that's 20 food which means we're gonna grow quicker which we're already growing but you're all you're all you're all so we're not really running across anything that's gonna give us like shipwrecks or something like that we're about to meet mr orange hello sir I'm here to go explore your territory. That is neutral territory. Uh, our other ship should be available here. Yeah, so you can go ahead and get into the ocean. That's fine. Um, next turn, we will get you out of the ocean, so you will not crash. Uh, we have an idle city. That's Jeffopolis. 
This would knock out one turn. I don't know if that's worth it. What's our food here? 62, 62. We are still growing. God, we're just so freaking crazy on food right now. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I think lumber mill here. I'm seeing a lot of forest. So I think lumber mill would be pretty dang good. We also still have the forge, which, you know, does give us benefits, but not like, oh my God, I need to have it. And then there's only a couple left here. The Quadrium, I don't know I care about. I'm um, gonna we'll knock out Conquest. I don't know if there's any technology, even next era, that we're like, oh my god, we want. We should probably go Conquest Imperial Power. Yeah, probably. Crop Rotation would not be bad for us. Um, theology for the City Cap, but we don't need another city yet. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there is. We actually know what we could end up doing, is we could switch off the Civic then that's giving us the City Cap boost. Uh, which is small council, right? Extra stability. I mean, we could just get rid of it because then we can buy another one slightly cheaper. You know, instead of 416, it's whatever the cheaper version of that is. So that might be the play. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, Mr. Boots, I would love to... We're going to go into orange territory because we're trying to actually meet them. That took like the full movement, which was kind of annoying, but... All right, so these guys are sharing territories, which... Ha! I'm not sharing territories with anyone because guess what? I killed them. All right, so the Huns got taken. That's fine. You guys are moving yourselves out, so I don't have to worry about you because the AI is actually being smart. Um, I do need to go pick this up because I want the shipwreck, and that might just give us enough. We might have already had enough. Actually, just gave us gold, so never mind. Uh, so Rookbat was going to be the city. 1060. There's your expansionist star. How does that give us an expansion star? I actually don't know, but... Um, we're going to attach Navi, and we're going to... Oh, we're going to wait a little bit, and then we want to attach you as well. Um, so, I need to get the unique buildings popping out here. 18. Uh, I can go ahead and rush that one out. The only thing more and then you want 13 here. The citizens waistlines. So, yeah, remember, we're just trying to grow here. That's the goal. We're actually ticking up in score, too. We're up to 7th place. We might have actually lost a place, and so that's why we're ticking back up. Okay, so we're 7 pop away. Now, those do go down every turn, so, you know, you don't want to wait too long uh, to level. I hope for your sake these Aztecs turn out to be friendly. All right, so we met the Aztecs. What's up? Good neighbor and a loyal friend. This proposition. Speaking of which... Have a seat. Have a glass. Let's get to know each other. Do you have anything we want to trade? We could. It's probably not cheap, though. Because it's over the water. And 126 is actually not so bad. Yeah, we probably do want to do some trading here. Um, I wanted to see what your opinions are. You're also militaristic. Great. Warlord. Great. Oh, God. That's actually horrible. That's not an emblematic unit. They retaliate until extermination of the aggressor. Oh, God. At combat strength and unit on territories influenced by other... Oh, my God. She's scary. Okay. So, yeah. Do not piss off the Aztecs, Brian. Also... I suppose these are just hills, but it kind of looks like, you know, this is all water and it's just like scattered like one tile islands, which is kind of hilarious, which isn't exactly the case, but it looks kind of that way. Jeffopolis. What do we want to do here? We're at 62, 62. Food's growing. Um, I don't know how much our production improved. The industry on river is really nice. I think let's pop you up. Yeah, I'm just trying to get, I think. Ah, we also have signs per pop here. But yeah, let's get let's get a little more uh, industry. That's fine. So I could have rushed out our other building. That's okay because I think what we're gonna want to do is buy you and then immediately, um, like next turn we'll attach and then I think immediately buy you out. And so then that means next turn we level up. Well, unless of course, I mean we do want to get this next star, man. And technically, we're only two techs away. <sighs> I think we should wait. I think we should wait. Yeah, we need to wait. We need to wait. We have so many other things we can build there too, so it, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Um. yeah, I sent you up here to go find that, but I need you to come back down, please. Nope, what? That's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie, that was a little annoying. The AI just kind of screwed me on that one. Can I disband you? No. Oh. Yeah, that that is that is really annoying. 
That was not what I had him do. He just like, he changed pathways because I clicked somewhere else and then he was like, you know what, let's just go stick in the ocean instead. And I'm like, uh, what? No. All right, well, goodbye ship. That was fun while you lasted. Oy. Well, that was a waste of a pop, which is a little unfortunate, but oh well, it's fine. You're still growing. I don't know if that kills us. I, I think the growth, I think it's like total pop. So I think when you use units, well, I think it counts your units as pop. So I think like we're still getting, well, you know what? We can actually add this up here. So you are at 22 pop. Jeffopolis is at 21. So that's 43. And then 14 is going to be 54. 54, uh, 60. Then how many military units do we have? Well, here's the other thing. 60... 62 62 I think it has to be including units 62 63 64 65 66 67 It's still short of the 80 it must be I think yes, yeah, okay, so it does say population and units within your empire we don't have anywhere else. I think it's total population. Oh, we also had this one too, but that's still only 67. Uh, oh, didn't count you either. 69. Now I think, I think it counts any unit that it was ever built. I think that's my guess. Uh, the Marians declared war on the Aztecs. So purple and orange are at war with each other. Totally fine with that. Um, I don't really understand why purple is declaring war, but you know that you do you, especially against the Aztecs, man. They're freaking scary. I, I cannot foresee orange losing that. But then again, purple looks purple looks like they've been kicking the Aztecs. But what's the score looking like? They're actually both at the bottom. We're going to potentially end up missing out on a sieve here. I think that's fine. I'm not that worried about it. Give me the extra food on the river. We actually don't have a lot of food right now. Jeff point gained a pop. That's what we want to see. And actually, we gained two more pops, just for the record. Um, oh, it's still moving the turns. I was like, what? I can't do anything. There, There is a war going on, okay? So the game's kind of like trying to figure out what's going on over there with the game. Um, with the war, I suppose. I mean, there's probably like... This probably calculating a bunch of unit moves. Uh, hi, I was not actually clicking on that. Although I probably do want that eventually. Conquest is research, so we need one more tech. And is that the cheapest one? Man, I think we instead go mounted warfare just because it's five turns. <laughs> just so I can get to the next era, man. Okay, I'm going to go one tile at a time. Because I'm trying not to get this ship killed. Because, you know... Pathfinding can be a little annoying. So go here. Perfectly acceptable, please. I think you guys are just on auto move. Harbor's done. That's going to give us some more food. Uh, we can now attach you. Next turn, we'll be able to buy you out. We only have seven surplus of food. Well, I mean, we are getting the population from all these territories, so yeah, yeah, it makes sense, but Army lost to sea, merchant star. Oh, we got a merchant star now, too. Did not realize that. We are racking up the fame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think we can get the expansion of star. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's an easy way for us to do it. We need three more pop. How do you feel differently about me? You're now hesitant. Strength is comparable. They must have just gotten their butt kicked. They must have lost some troops, I think. Condescending, they are stronger. I, which, I'm going to be honest, kind of shocking that, you know, they're only stronger considering we have not invested much in an army at all. You know, I probably should go look this way, too. I should. And the thing is, you did just finish a harbor. So... Let's go knock out another pent, 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 whatever they're called. Um, you can end your turn in the ocean, but I don't know I want to. Yeah, we'll go this way. This is fine. I've not met you. I've also not met Blue, so we're meeting everyone. I wonder if we can actually get Circumnavigate going. 
Probably not, but... All right, Jefferville. Artificial reservoirs is extra food on rivers. Um, yeah. Yeah, food per farmer. We're at 7 to 7. That also gives us an extra farmer slot. So, we're up to 63 food here. Not bad. So, that means you're going to grow again, right? Two turns. Okay. Olmax kept their traditions. Good. That's one less person. Now, we could... All right, that was a quick war. <laughs> Seriously, that was a very quick war. I don't see any difference here. I think Orange might have won. Yeah, I think Orange might have actually won that. So, there is a slight issue here. Is this neutral territory? If this is neutral territory, not that big of a deal. But there's a chance he could kick us out, and it'd be like, oh, crap. Devilishly clever, these Greeks. I would be more afraid of their wit and their words than of their troops. Enchanted. Hello. Do you believe that that is... I have... You don't mind me. I teach you Can I get open borders with you by chance? This proposition should be in... Yes. Sure. Although maybe I should do it with orange because orange is a little stronger, but eh. I mean, just trying to be somewhat friendly. They both really like this one tile here, my artisan quarter. Okay. Well, congratulations, guys. So, ship, we'll send you down here, and you'll be able to get over here next turn so you won't die. Um, you're going to have to come back. Yeah, dang it. I, the thing is, I can only go to here, so I could go pick that up and die, but I don't think that's worth losing a unit for. How are we doing here? What's our money like? Our money's okay. We need to grab the library. Yeah. I would like to get the libraries going. Food per farmers. You're actually losing food. When did this happen? Good question. But yeah, let's rush that out so we don't be losing food now. And same thing here with the animal barns. Let's not be losing food. I would rather not. Jefferville? You, God, such a surplus in food. Although I will say you're no longer over pop. So I'm not sure what happened there, but that's okay. Um, stone will probably give us some. We'll knock out the forge. I don't think I want to build any more districts, right? I think we're holding off on the districts till next era. Yeah, yeah, we're already six behind. Yeah, yeah, we should, we should, we should avoid districts right now, if at all possible. Okay, new civic fields of plenty. Trader or farmer? Actually, would not mind the farmer. I think. We have influence. Do I want to save my influence for anything? I don't actually know. Money on territories fall in foreign religions. We don't have any foreign religions. Procession, religious industry costs, eh. Slaves, nah, it doesn't matter. Founding myths, influence, or faith. National control of vital products and resources. Apparently, yeah, I think we're going to go there. Now, there's also something to be said about grabbing a wonder. So maybe not wasting our stuff, like holding onto it and getting wonders, but this is okay. This is okay. We need to get the iron and all that stuff as well here, but army lost its sea. Yeah, you got to come back, please. Don't die. Uh, you are also not going to die on my watch. I'm going to move you the long way just to make sure I don't accidentally click it and screw myself over. All right, so we met the Greeks, who also at one point was Babylon. So, there you go. Now, these should be independent peoples. And we're just basically going on the um, navigation route right now. All right, Jeffreyville. A little more production here. Almost to 200. See, this is why food is so freaking good, dude. Oh, I love it. So, we should be really close here. We're one pop away and we're one turn away. So, and you're going to grow next turn. Perfect. That yeah, That's perfect. So, next turn we're going to upgrade. And we're going to be feeling awesome about life. Yeah, so give me a library. Be another 20 science. Good. Jeff Point. I think we want a library here. Food is fine. Food is fine. Tempted to grab another harbor here. Your, ugh, your stability is kind of bad. Now that I look at it. So give me the extra stability on the garrison, which should account for two, uh, 10 stability because we have two garrisons in it. Should. 
if, if it works the right way. I actually don't know. It might not work that way. Um, and then do we want to buy this? There's no other districts, so you'll just finish it, and then we'll maybe buy, um, like, the iron or something like that. Okay, so the agrarian star got unlocked, and then the scientist star got unlocked. And we are now at 33, 33 point-wise. We jumped, dude. We were, what, like, 7th, 8th at the beginning of this episode, so... Yeah, that went really well. Okay, so who do we want to play as? Who did we miss out on? We missed out on the Aztecs. Wait, are these the only ones we missed out on? Oh, interesting. Huh. Alright, well, we were probably not going to play them anyways. Movement speed on units? Yeah, nah, I had zero desire to play them. We could go money here. We do have horses. We do have horses. And we could potentially get some maker's quarters, at least around that horse. Sorry, market quarters. Uh, this one, actually, yeah, we could do it here as well. Yeah, we could definitely get some around that horse as well. We have three horses. Where's the third one? Up here. That one's going to be a little harder to get around. We're going to have to build over there. Oopsie. So that's a lot of gold. Potentially. We could do Franks. By the way, they ah, the brown downside is they want the merchant. That's the merchant affinity. And that one's not as great for us right now. We could do the Franks. Which, eh, like, here's the problem. We'll probably be able to get one star from the um, gold infinity, affinity. I doubt we're going to get all three. And that's where you start making your money, or your fame, is when you get, like, multiple ones from the one that is your affinity. Because I think you get double. Influence, I think we're okay with. But I don't know if I like the Franks here. The Ghanians are the same way with the money. I think we'd rather play the Byzantiums. Which we have actually played. Um, the Teutons are money. No, they're expansionists. Expansionists isn't really going to happen much here in the future. Kamar is all about builders. Now, that's possible. We have already played as Kamar. And, I mean, we picked Kamar last time as well. But we could get some crazy production going. Uh, English are the agrarian. Mongols are militaristic. I mean, we just don't need more food, dude. As hilarious as it would be, we just don't need more food. Then we also have the Umayyads, Umayyads, which we can do the scientists, for sure. Now the alliance, eh, signs per number of attached territories, meh. And a little bit of extra faith, yeah, let's do it, Umayyads. Which I feel like we talked about grabbing these guys, I don't know if we ever did. Because the last game we picked production with the, um, Kamar. We're also not fighting. I think Kamar would be worth it if we were actually going to be fighting someone. Just because their war elephants are just god tier. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Let's go this way. Try and see if we can find some more land over here. Unfortunately, big fat no right now. Meh. Looks like there may be something over there, but I don't know I can reach it. You're coming down here. That's fine. Because we're trying to get you to explore over here. Um, see if there's some island changes down there where we can go settle. Then give me my second iron first. Yeah, we're just going to start working all these. Uh, the other thing is we're going to pick up these artisan quarters, and they're going to start giving us a bunch of stability. We do need to make some trades. Let's hit this next era and then let's do some trading. Uh, we'll do Imperial Power, please. In turn. Let's go. Wisdom, as far as okay. innovation goes, view my ads. You my ads, that's it. So it's. Medicine. But I have to say. So it's a, a, a you. A you sounds like you. Y O U, I guess is probably the way to say that. So we've been kind of all over the globe right now, haven't we? Who do we start as? I actually don't remember who we started as. And Clement New Wonder, which I think we will want to. Uh, Umayyads. Who did who do we pick to begin with? We were nomadic, then we were uh, the Harpians. So we've been somewhat eastern, except we pick or, yeah, except we picked the uh, Celts, not the Celts, the Celts. Why do I say I'm wrong every time? I don't know. All right, let's grab a wonder here quick. There's only one wonder we can claim. 
the Toji. Is this the 20% turns being converted? Force stability 20% turns before being converted by others' religion on city or outpost. Is that just that city? I mean, it's not really particularly strong, but I'm going to go grab it because we got a bunch of um, uh, uh, influence right now. And it is 100 fame. So, yeah. And I also like the idea, I think, of doing this in our capital because our capital is going to get beefy big, which to me says we're going to end up probably having some stability issues from being overpopulated. Overpopulated. Jeff Hopless only has 12 of 12. Oh, that's on the food. We're 24, 24. I don't know if you take a stability hit if you go over on the food. Should go question here. By the way, what's the science looking like? 19. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. 16. Get Just get some science going. Stability is a little lower than I would like to admit right now. We would like our stability to get a little higher. In all of our territories. So. I'm going to put you here. Because that's going to be the last movement this turn. Um, thank you for reappearing here. Or appearing here. That's going to be uh, nice for us. Hopefully we can get... What do we want from it? I guess science. Yeah, I suppose science. Uh, Nemosis, we need to change your name, by the way. We got Jeffopolis. We got Jeff Point. We got uh, Jeffreyville. I keep seeing Jerryville. <laughs> um, Jefftin. Jeff... Jeff Tub, Jeff Tin, Jeff Tin, Jeff Tin, Jeff Tin, great town, Jeff Tin. Okay, cool. Um, we'll go knock out the building here. Your stability. Oh God, never mind. Your stability is horrible. Uh, all right. So since our stability is bad everywhere, let's start just building all of these, please. Remember, everyone gives you a little bit of extra happiness, and then you can go work on horsies, please. And then you're done. Okay, so let's see what we can trade here. We have open borders with you. You need two more turns. I would love to be friendly with you. Um, incense and ebony. 99 gold. I'll take it. We don't have incense. Oh, we actually had one ebony. Or is that because we just bought it? That might be because we just bought it. Yeah, I think it's because we just bought it. Because the incense just appeared too. A cultural one. Not bad. In my your empire. So then, open borders. We would all benefit from growing. I, I literally can't say yes to that, so I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Ambergris, we do not have. 149. Right, fine. Tea, we don't have. I can't afford any. Coffee, we don't have. Okay. So, anyways, this should help our stability in all of our cities. So we'll see. Greeks leveled up and stayed the Greeks. Seems like everyone's kind of keeping their stuff right now. We're only 1,500 behind. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Jeffopolis. You got land and land rights. Let's see what this one is. 10 food per number of attached territories. Merge with money instead of influence. No, I think I want the food. We're just going crazy large cities right now. That's that's our only goal. By the way, stability. Only 64. Hmm. Thought you'd be a little bit better, but that's okay. 19 science is not bad. Not so bad. I mean turns 30 on that wonder. Oi. This is where being Kamar would have been nice because we could have gotten some more uh, production. So we can knock out the wonder a little quicker. I mean, we're at 200, which isn't bad, but it's just like, ugh. Could be a lot better. 17, 17, 17. Throw it here. I think this gives us the most opportunities for future districts. Um, yeah, they're going up a little bit. I kind of thought we'd be going up a little bit more here when it came to... Yeah, we're going to go here next. Uh, when it came to... You can only go there because of the water. Then one, two... One, two, three, four. I think we'll be able to make it. To be safe, let's just go here. Uh, but yeah, I thought we were going to be getting a little more stability. Uh, we could go buy some more stuff, though. So, yes. hello, I would like your... Trying to buy stuff we don't have, although, once again, I don't think it actually matters. We don't have Sage. I'll buy it. It's only going to be a problem... We're out of money. It's only going to be a problem when they declare war and all of a sudden all our trade routes get pillaged. Or at least we lose our trade routes. That's really when only things are going to suck. Okay, now this is a very interesting dilemma. 
Will there be more coasts that way? I mean, surely yes. Surely. But how risky do we want to be? Uh, 140 gold. Nice. Nice. That allows me to go ahead and buy... We're going to grab obsidian. I can't afford it. Never mind. Obsidian's freaking expensive, man. Maybe buy some stuff from the Greeks, just in case those two fight a war again that we're not, like, necessarily right next to them. Um, hmm... Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. We really need to get our next tier boats. But that's probably going to be a bit. Okay, so yeah, you're going to come over here. We're really looking to hopefully find some more islands down here. I suppose if I put you in a place where you couldn't go this turn, I could have always just taken you back. I suppose that was an option. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. I suppose come on over here. Yeah, and definitely pick that up. And then I think let's go see what's over here. Maybe there's a little island chain up north. Okay, so you're picking this up. And then you're safe to go here. 140 gold. Nice. Nice. Marians feel differently about us. They're pleasant. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, they actually, I think, are buying a lot of luxuries from us. Can we see what we're selling? Export. I don't know what... It, it says we depend, so they're clearly buying stuff from us. So, uh, anyways, I talked about buying some stuff from you. You have marble. Would not mind that. 293? Sure. And then lead? What does lead do? Does that make people happy? Stability and science. Yeah, sure. The Exumites. Farmers with faith. But be careful. Okay, well, we met the Axumites now. They also have a lot of crap here, too. Um, we'll do luxury trading. Are they in first? They're in third. Okay. Just getting a bunch of trading done. So, we're going to move you over in this direction. And actually, can I do open borders with you? I have a proposition. I will accept that. Just so hopefully I can just keep exploring and I don't get cut out or cut out or um, lost or whatever. Um, okay, so you're coming here. You are now safe. And now I'm going to need you to find some new territory, some new land, please. <sighs> Downside is even if we find new land over here, I don't know we're going to be able to land troops. So knowledge authority, one science per researcher on a uh, city or outpost. One science per number of trade routes on city or outpost. I actually think this one's worth more for us, but I can't afford it. And I don't think we're going to grab either of those to begin with. So we've met all Your but three people right now. One of the giants astride the globe. Okay, and imperial power done. With this power? Um, we'll grab four outposts. That's fine, just because it's cheap and easy. Also, is that giving us... What's it doing here? 10% resources when buying through trade. Oh, all right. Well, we should have waited then to buy through trade, but... <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Throw so you here just so I can get, like, the max vision. Dang. All right, then we're going to have to bring you back here. We're just going to keep going, like, I think in, like, um, triangles, diamonds, 90-degree angles, however you want to describe it. Okay, you want non-aggression pack. Done. Done. Would you like to be an alliance? Good. So remember, that actually helps us right now. That gives us bonus science. Because of the uh, Yumaids. Yumaids. They're boo uh, what, 5% science per uh, alliance? So. Now that actually might mean, now that I think about it, that orange guy doesn't like us. Oh, you're getting your butt kicked by the Aztecs. Oh. Tell me about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not long for this world. Sorry about that. Oof. Yeah, all right. And he declared war. Remember, so he was the one that did the war declaring. An ally or an enemy? A barrier or a blessing? Their Independent people. Oh. In Are you talking about these guys? The ones we had already seen? You're weird, buddy. So... All right. Let's go up here, see what we can find, see if there's anything. Doesn't look too hot. So, same thing. We're just going to keep going uh, triangles. Maybe there's something up there. Unlikely, but we'll see. Jeffreyville. I 
actually no bonus on these. These are all just like plain 14. Hmm. Unfortunate. So if anything, I should build the wonder down here. And I think we'll go ahead and start it. I don't know if it applies only to you, but anyways, this will keep you from being converted. Not that I'm really worried about it being converted, but yeah, you will not get converted now. So, okay. And then Jeffreyville, we'll go have you help out here. Uh, what can we upgrade these guys to now? Horsemen and then horsemen. Yeah. I'm going to worry about that. Nah, not really. So that cut the turns in half. Okay. Jeffopolis will probably have you join as well. Uh, what was our stability looking at like right now? Yeah, you're up to 88. Okay, buying all these things really helped. Also, oh wait, I was gonna build this in our capital for the extra stability. Yeah, that's true, but we have so many districts here, this kind of resets us so we can actually start building the districts we want. So I suppose that's not the worst thing in the world. And then this turns into kind of our heavy industry town. Sure. Pick the Norseman. I would not mind being Norseman. I really wouldn't. Um, I don't know. How many of the dudes we are moving are actually alerting us? Uh, we're over here. So yeah, these two dudes. So go here to not die. Uh, actually, all three of our guys. Okay. So then, yeah, you're going to go over here. You're going to come here. And then next turn, we're going to go something like here. And then one, two, three, and we'll put you there. Okay. Not really a whole lot to do right now. You want to do shared logistics. This is fine. Oh, uh, this is the guy we have the alliance with. Scientific agreement? Perfect. Perfect. I can't imagine we're going to be friends for long, because like I said, I'm pretty sure he's going to die soon, but that's fine. Um, hey, non-aggression pack. God dang it. Stop. I'm sorry. Uh, I need her to buy some of my crap here. She depending, she has overwhelming war support, uh, uh, strength. Clearly, we do not look at this issue in the same way. Clearly not. Give me your obsidian. We should upgrade our troops just so we have a little more power on the board. Because maybe they'll keep the AI from, um, being overwhelming and being like, ah, we don't like you because we're overwhelming now. I don't know. 19 science. What's stability here? You're at 77. That's not bad. We would like to get food still going here. Because we want... This population needs to catch up. So do we have a river? I mean, we must. Yeah, we have a river up here in Navi. I don't know if that one's worth as much. I think give me the horse farm might be the best. And honestly, for a little bit of production, oh, sorry, not the lumber yard. The stone should be really good for that because we have a lot of just uh, rocks, rocky areas. So ships uh, and then just agreements. So we don't really care about any of those. Aristar, there's our agrarian. There's our first star. Tech wise, we still need five more. Um, builder star, we need four. We need four expansion stars. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be able to get the next era. Like, I don't think we're going to have too many issues staying, keeping up in the eras at this point. Just because, if nothing else, we're going to be able to pop out the text and stuff like that. All right, we're going to want to go grab you. Yes, please. Uh, diamond formation. Nope, that's a dead end. That's the edge of the map there. So we probably then bring you this way and see what we can find over there. We're really just waiting until we can get the next trader out. Uh, the next um, ships, which is where? Right here. Not the Carrick. This one. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're quite a bit away on that still. I think maybe, I think, ah, well, we might be able to, well, actually, that's a good question. Can we grab it next? Sorry, I don't need the cog. I wanted the three master ship. Yeah, we need that one first. So it's like, I don't think it's worth it. Nah, I think we just grab these cheaper ones first. And as we get more science, then we'll go grab it. We're up to about 500. That's not bad. Foreign outpost research. 
Oh, that was the tech. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't remember grabbing a foreign outpost here. Okay, so I can't get there and live. So, God, that scared me. Uh, we can upgrade you. So he's damaged now, not just straight killed. Which means we can take you a little further. Um... You are pleasant. Can we get an alliance? I have a proposition for you. She said no. I think you'll like it. Impossible. I can she said no. Picture. Let us we would like to be allies with them. Because then I can upgrade my ship. The other option is to come over here. But that might take a little long. Uh, also, Orange ended up grabbing that territory. Which I suppose is not surprising. So we got to skip you. Um, you're going to come over here. We still have yet to find anything, although I can upgrade you and now you can go explore a little deeper water. The problem is I can take ships in deeper water. I can't take units, though, because our naval transports won't do um, what our ships can do. Population gained. Wondering what our population's looking like right now. 30 of 29. So are we taking a stability hit because of that? No, actually. Huh. All right. I think you want a non-aggression pack. Cool. Alright, now we got our alliance. I'm pretty sure I did just spend some influence on that, but okay. That's cool. Then you're protective. Interesting. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a good thing. Please to make your you're at war or at war with my ally, the Greeks. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about that. Non-aggression pact. This proposition. Uh, sorry. So you're Byzantium then. So now that I have an alliance here, can I do shared logistics? I have a proposition for. Good, because that means I can upgrade you. Boom, baby. So, Brad said is he's not going to die. Uh, you also just gave me a free cog. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. I will take a free cog. Yeah, that, that that's actually quite wonderful for us. Mm-hmm. So, you are upgraded, right? Yeah, you're the quadrium. Um, doesn't really matter though, because you weren't an ocean tile this last turn. We also need you to upgrade too. Good. Now we can send you out into the water. So we can send you down here. I don't know if I want to. Yeah. I think I go back here. I think we go over here and then go see what's here. I, I'm just kind of like torn. Like we could go like searching for more land. But, like, the thing is, I can't get there anyways, so it doesn't really matter, except we can meet more people, I guess, but, like, eh, eh. Oh, we gotta wrap this episode up. God dang it. We were at, like, 30 minutes, and I'm like, ah, we still got plenty of time, and now it's like, oh, crap. <laughs> we're way over time. Um, you want non-aggression pack with the Aztecs, please. Can I get an alliance with you? That's fine. I will go ahead and renounce this. Um... Then make your acquaintance again. I don't have Mercury. 227. I'll buy it. Just because I'm just trying to get resources. Oh, interesting. So what we had here is we basically have a bunch of islands that have two sieves on it. Now these guys are still pretty split here. Orange beat up purple. I completely destroyed my island. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of cool how this map ended up working. How it shook out. What else do we got to do? You are just basically down here sailing. Come sail away. Come sail away. Something like that. I don't remember how that song goes. Uh, you're also coming this way, please. Because we want to get you over here. Two, three. Yeah, this is fine. You won't end your turn in uh, ocean. All right, Jeff 10. This is only three turns. Not worth it. Um, let's go for the science because we do need to catch up in the science. And you're okay on stability right now. Then, Fate of the Free Cities, Independent People. We actually can grab some of these now. Um, I don't care about either of those. Land rights, 10 food per number of attached territories. I 
think is what we want. Individual wealth and political connections so that's just basically a bunch more food for us. As the land. So you're growing even though you're uh, overpopped. Dang it, we need a boat. <laughs> give me a boat here real quick. Uh, can I build a one turn? Good, good, good. Yeah, give me a boat. I'm gonna go grab that. Make me some money or something like that. Um, which is going to take away a turn or two, but that's fine. All right, we got to wrap this episode up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.